hi YouTube it's Mo so this is gonna be my video on circumcision and I believe I expressed to you guys that baby CJ will be circumcised um he couldn't get it at birth because of um insurance reasons the hospital didn't accept my insurance and so I had to go through um a different hospital but because he doesn't have his insurance card um it's on its way in the mail they want the actual card, so I have to wait till the card comes first. But he will receive his circumcision before he's two months. Um, with that being said, um, so I didn't know what circumcision was. I just knew it just had to do with the penis um, and cutting. So it scared me at first. But I also did hear a lot of good things about it. Now, if you choose to uncir if you choose to keep your son uncircumcised. Fine, that's you, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. That's your choice, it's your child, this is my child, and this is my choice. So, um, also, with that being said, um, I didn't know anything really about it. I just heard some good things, and I heard some not-so-good things. So, I wanted to do some research on my own. So, when I did research, I decided I wanted to share with you guys. So, I'll get started. Um, I'm just going to read basically random facts. They're not in order. Some of the words, I don't know what they mean, um, but I will put the definitions below and you can figure it out, put two and two together, but I'm just going to read off some facts that I found. The inability to retract the foreskin fully at birth is not a medical reason for a circumcision. That's controversial. It's not a fact in my opinion. Um... Circumcision prevents phimosis, which is the, abil ab the inability to retract the foreskin at the age when it should normally be retractable. And um, it prevents paraphimosis, which is the painful inability to return the foreskin to its original location. And balanopostitis, which is the inflammation of the glands in the foreskin. So. It prevents phimosis, paraphimosis, and balanopostitis. Sorry. Balanopostitis. There we go. So it prevents all of those. Um, circumcision increases the chance of <clears throat> meiitis. Metisis. I don't know how to pronounce these words. I've never heard anyone say them, so excuse me. Um, meiitis which is the inflammation of the opening, opening of the penis. Um, circumcision may result in a decreased incidence of urinary tract infections, something that you do want. You do want it to prevent that. <laughs> um, circumcision may result in a lower incidence of sexually transmitted diseases and may reduce HIV transmission. You also want that. You also want it to prevent that. Sorry. Sounds like I'm saying you want... STDs and HIV. No, <laughs> you want the prevention. Um, circumcision may lower the risk for cancer of the cervix and sexual partners. Women who have sex with men who have circumcised penis have a lower chance of getting cervical cancer. Rather, or versus women who have sex with men with uncircumcised penises, you know, obviously the chances are higher for them. So, um, Circumcision may decrease the risk for cancer of the penis. Obviously, something that you you want to prevent cancer in the penis. Uh, the issue of circumcision is a controversial is as controversial as it has ever been. Now, that is obviously a fact because I have not watched one video on YouTube where a person did not get a whole bunch of nasty comments or oh yeah you go girl and that's your choice and then another person's like well. Well, you're stupid and you're a bad mom. It is very controversial. And like I said, it's my son. I'm going to do what I want with his penis because I had sex to have him. So when you have sex to have your own son, you can make the decisions that you want to make. But I'm going to get my son circumcised. And that's that. Now, just some questions that people may have. I'm just going to um, answer them now. What is a retractable foreskin? A retractable foreskin is one that can be pulled back behind the groove of the coronal sulcus to expose the glands. Basically, it's a skin that you pull back to expose the head of the penis. Um, what is newborn circumcision? 
newborn circumcision consists of the removal of that foreskin that I talked about earlier. And the foreskin is resected near the corolla suctus in the newborn period between the age, uh, before the age of two months. So basically they just clip the, um, the foreskin and then the head opens up, obviously. Um, what is the status of the foreskin at birth? Um, so these are some facts. Only about one in every 20 boys is born with a retractable foreskin. This reflects the fact that the tissue development of the foreskin is usually not complete at birth. Um, I guess I've never even heard that um, boys can be born without one. So I don't know. About 96% of newborn boys, their a foreskin is is not already separated. So basically, the 96% of boys have the the um the retractable foreskin. So basically, as a boy gets older, if they have not been circumcised, they can, by the the age of one, 50% of them can retract it. And then by the age of three, 80 to 90% of them can retract it. So eventually, it is retractable. At birth, You, it just looks like it, it, nothing to pull back. It just looks like, you know, a penis with no head, obviously. But as they get older, it, they can pull it back um, if you choose to uncircumcise your son. Um, now what does this have to do with circumcision? It just means that the inability to retract the foreskin at birth and in infancy is normal and it does not constitute a medical reason for circumcision. So it just means eventually your son will be able to, um, expose his head and it doesn't have to be exposed all the time. Now that is controversial and I agree with that, but even still, the the prevention is what I'm for. I, I really don't care if his head shows or not or if he can retract the skin. I don't care about that. I care that it has been proven that it prevents diseases and urinary tract infections and cervical cancer of sexual partners and cancer of the penis. It just it just sounds so much healthier for my son to have his penis clipped, if that's what some people are calling it. Um, rather than be exposed to all these different things. And I just want to protect him in the best way that I can. And if circumcising him and him going through a, a, a painful stage, and yes, it is painful because it is a minor surgery. Any surgery is painful. Um, it, obviously, it's going to be painful. And if I, if I have to deal with comforting him to the extreme amount, to the limits that I can, to make sure he's comfortable while he's going through this pain. I I'm all for it because then that then I know that he has the prevention that he needs. I'll also just throw in five things you didn't know about circumcision that I got from discoverynews.com or well, newsdiscovery.com. Um and I'm not going to really explain them. I'm just going to throw them out. Circumcision was once you was once tutored as a cure for paralysis. The foreskin is more complex than you might think. The first recorded circumcision happened in Egypt. Uh, circumcision may have caught on as a status. Oh, like um, whether or not you're normal. So it it marks people in class. Like oh, if you're um if if you're circumcised, then your parents are good because they cho- they they made that choice to to circumcise you and if you're uncircumcised you then your parents don't love you things like that like of status oh well if you're circumcised your parents have more money or if you're uncircumcised you're um i don't know just you're more cool i don't know it just it it creates status problems with status um and the last well the fifth sim the f- the fifth fact is that circumcisions leave you un- unique marks now i didn't really know about that but I guess so well I guess because they have to clamp it so I guess I don't know whatever but um that's pretty much it and I didn't really want to do this video at first because I watched a lot of videos and people got like bad feedback but I honestly I don't even care because like I said, if you don't like what I say on my on my channel that I created on my computer that I bought, um, you can just get the hell off. That's that. So like I said, 
Um, these are just some facts that I found and I wanted to share with you guys because honestly, I didn't really know much about circumcision. I just knew it prevented like the possibility of diseases and stuff. So I jumped on board and I want my son to get circumcised, which he will. Um, and that's it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, put them below. Like I said before, I will put those, I think it was three words that I really couldn't pronounce. I will put the word and the meaning next to them so that way you can get a clear understanding of what it is. And my source, which I already told you, newsdiscovery.com. And then the other one, I don't really remember because I hate citation and I didn't really want to cite the website at the time. So I kind of forgot. But if I can find it in my history, my computer, I will put it below as well. So that's it. Bye, guys. Oh, baby CJ sleeping. So just wanted to show you guys him. There he goes. <laughs> and I switched his passy, which I'll do in his, um, can you guys see? Oh, I switched it to a nuke passy. One, because, well, the sole reason why I switched it is because, um, his event, Sudi Passy, kept falling all over the floor, and he would spit it out when he's upset, and I didn't like that it just, we had to keep sterilizing it, because I'm like, nothing really, really gets rid of germs unless you're using, like, cleaning products and sterilization together, and I'm not going to put cleaning products on his Passy, because it has to go in his mouth, and he has to digest whatever on it. So, I decided to use the pass the other passy I bought him, which has a little um thing right here. So, I had another passy that came with this, but I took it off because he didn't like it when we used it at the hospital. That's how we ended up buying the event one. And then I just used this clippy thing and added it to this so that way it can clip to his shirt and it won't fall all over the place. And he loves it. So, that's it for my circumcision video, I will be doing his um, four-week update right after I do this video. And then um, in two days, I'll be doing his month update and my one-month postpartum update. Um, just because I'm going to just do the first four weeks in weeks. And then after each month for the last week, instead of me doing like the fourth week of that month and that month update, I'm just going to do a one month update instead of that fourth week. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say, but that's what I mean. So, bye guys.